So you're making a recipe that uses time, but how do you pick off all those tiny little leaves without wasting like an hour? Hi, I'm Mark Bjerke and welcome to Tabula, where you can find simple lessons for the home cook. This week is all about fresh herbs and how to store, prepare, and use them. I'll give you a hint here with the time. It's not gonna be by picking off individual leaves like that. There's a much more efficient way. I'll show you how. If you have a piece like this that branches off into multiple stems, the first step is to separate those stems off from each other. So what we'll do is we'll start at the top and just strip them backwards and they release super, super easily if you do that. Sometimes the stems are really tender and fragile at the top so that they might just break, but that was not a big deal here. I'm gonna do it again. Start at the top and just strip backwards. That's all there is to it. And here's the secret about herbs. If a teeny piece of the stem gets in there, it's totally okay, it's gonna be okay, it tastes good still. People tell you that it doesn't taste good and that it's bad for you or something, it's totally fine. As long as you can eat it and it's not too hard and woody, it is completely fine. And there's very, very few applications where you need it to be so, so pretty and perfect looking that you have to have every little tiny bit gone there. So just go ahead and strip them like you normally would. Don't, don't be too scared, don't be crazed. And even if this entire tender stem got in there, it wouldn't be a big deal. So today's simple tip is to strip thyme leaves backwards off their stems.